All right, testing whether vacuum creates buoyancy. So I have a about a five gallon roughly um, vacuum chamber. I got it hooked with a very flexible line to a vacuum pump. And I've got the vacuum chamber sitting on top of a scale, which is reading right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and zero that. And then I'm going to turn on a vacuum pump. I suppose that's about it. Now I can stop this. Switch off the pump. We've still got our vacuum in there. We're still reading minus 0.04 pounds. Oh, I see our battery is low. Now, I can open this to let air in. Of course, when I touch it, it jumps around, but see, when I take my hand back off of it, it settles back to the 0.04 or so. Now it's sucking air back in. Back to our original starting weight. So yes, vacuum causes buoyancy. For those of you who were concerned that the rubber tube may have been somehow um, affecting the weight reading, I have now pumped it down to as low as I can get it reasonably, and so it's got a vacuum in it now. See, nothing in there. And I've zeroed the scale, empty, so this is just the weight of the container without, without the air in it. And then I am going to open the valve, and we'll see what the air weighs when it goes in. Okay, I'm touching it now. The valve is open and I let go. See? The gauge is dropping and the weight is going up. We're now also measuring the weight of the air inside the pot. And it's about all equalized. 0 0.045 pounds. Oh, look at that. 0 0.05 pounds. Well, pretty close to it. Within the margin of error of the scale. Now, what should it be? This was advertised as a, a five gallon uh, vacuum chamber. Let's see what it should be. Alright, so here I have put in a volume of five gallons and air. And it says that the weight is 0.05 pounds. See? This little right here. It 
gallons is that the weight of, that, of five gallons of air is 0 0.05 pounds. What you can see is pretty much what we're reading. The scale can't decide if it's 0 .045 or 0.05, but it's well within the accuracy limits of the scale. So there you have it. Vacuum creates buoyancy, and you can weigh the air in a pot on a scale.